Okay, so today we're going to be checking out willyoupressthebutton.com, where we have to answer some of the world's most absurd and interesting hypotheticals. So, let's just get right into it. If we press the button, we're going to get a free car of our choice, fictional or real, okay. Hellcat? Hellkizzy? Okay. Okay. But the police will always chase you as soon as they see your car. Dude, in the Hellkizzy, I'm <laughs> I'm making that. I'm pressing the button. And, you know, I'm outrunning all the lawmen in my, uh my hellcat for sure give me a real brain scratcher give me a real twister here okay so if we press the button you can bring anybody back from the dead there are no limitations to who you can bring back but the first person you are required to bring back to life is adolf hitler i don't want to be the guy that brings back hitler you know i feel like that's a really bad look so I'm probably, I mean, you know, I'm not gonna press the button. You know, I think I'm not gonna press the button. Okay, most people decided to press it. I respect that. You become rich and famous, you change genders. I'm in, I'm, I'm so in. Okay, so you get a random amount of cash every day, but there's a 1,000 dogs chasing you around the world. <laughs> I assume, right, the dogs are trying to, like, kill you or something, right? The dogs aren't just there to, like, you know, they don't just all want pets. Or they're not all looking for, you know, like, a thousand belly rubs. Like, they're probably there to absolutely maul you, right? So... Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna do it. Okay, yeah, most people said no. That makes sense. Okay. You will get the girlfriend of your dreams, but you have to become a feminist and go to feminist demonstrations, okay? I feel like this is fine. It just, it depends. It depends, right? Because, like, when you say become a feminist, are you, like, do you just agree in, like, gender abolition and, like, women's equality and women's rights? Like, that's cool. That's fine. Or are you, like, a male feminist? who is one of those like self-denigrating, like super cringy. I mean, there's no real, I mean, I guess I would already kind of be a, a male feminist. I don't know. And I, I just never, I've never been to a demonstration, but like I wouldn't not go. Yeah, why not? Well, why not? You know what? I'm an ally, an ally. <laughs> We press the button here. You become the most intelligent person in the world. Okay, I already am, so I mean, whatever. Uh, even able to master any video game, okay? But you lose the ability to use both legs for the rest of your life. Even if you attach new ones, prosthetics would also not work. So basically, <laughs> sorry, sorry, I just saw this. So someone named Ronald Reagan left a comment, man, I am dead. Which is, I guess, because Ronald Reagan is dead. Okay. So, like, the able to master any video game part is whatever. It's, like, being the most intelligent person in the world. And I guess I'd just be in a wheelchair. I mean, yeah, I think that'd be worth it. It's like some Professor Xavier type beat. I'm gonna do it, but, like, I could see there being, you know, unintended issues with this. Most people, hey, most people really value their legs. So that's, like, actually kind of surprising how many people value the their fuck? legs. We press the button here. You have the ability to text message as fast as lightning without using your hand. But you're not allowed to use any emojis. Dang. You know, there's so much you can convey through images that you can't through text. So I'm not pressing the button. I think the emojis are useful. I feel like being able to text that quickly would not be that useful. Really? Most people press the button? That's that's confusing to me. I don't get that. Okay, so we destroy the patriarchy, but we end the human race. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. I feel like we can do that without ending the human race. So I'm gonna go no here. Yeah. So if we press the button here, you have your dream house and you're, you are rich, but your house is haunted by a demon that won't go away and follows you everywhere you go, so. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, I don't know. I feel like a demon, the last thing I kind of need in my life right now is a demon. You know, I really don't feel like... Mm. I haven't tried it. I'm not going to say I for sure won't. I'm open to new things. I'm open to trying new things. Listen, I'm not going to write off demons entirely. You know, I think it's a fair thing to want to try. But yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to avoid the demon route. I think if I can go my life avoiding being haunted by demons, I'd prefer that. So we're going to go no demon. Okay. Yeah, most people seem to agree, but by a slim margin. By a very slim margin. That's interesting. So if we press the button here, we get superhuman powers for choosing, but you can only use them when you're naked and someone can see you. Yeah, I, I, I imagine there's something I could, I think we could figure this out. I think we could find a, a route where I'm not seen naked by many people, unfortunately. You know, if I was really trying to optimize for my powers, I think I can make it happen. So yeah, why not? We'll press the button here. Sure, of course. Yeah, let's do it. We look good in everything we wear, but all clothes make you itch. God, I mean, there's nothing worse than being itchy, especially being itchy for like a very sustained period of time. Um, I, you know, hot take, I feel like I look good already, you know? I feel like I'm looking, you know? I don't need, I don't need to be itchy to look good, so we're in bang. Okay, there we go. Uh, 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 uh.
Okay, so you gain $20 million every month, but you must spend it all in 12 hours or you die. Oh, I'm trying to think of like, how could you spend $20 million in 12 hours? Yeah, I mean, of course, of course. How is everyone not doing this? But I guess if like, if at any time your payment doesn't clear, you're just so screwed. I guess you're gonna die, but whatever. So if you press the button here, you could become any Disney character you want, but you are only alive when someone watches your film. Yeah, let's see, what Disney, there's so many Disney characters now. I'd probably be like one of the Avengers. Which Avenger would I, maybe Tony Stark? I, I, I'm kind of Tony Stark-esque, right? Yeah, I'm I'm down. I'm down. I'm, I'd be Tony Stark. Most people disagree. Okay, fair enough. They're probably not thinking. Okay, so this one we have x-ray vision, but we can toggle it on and off. But you have to grow a long beard that you can't shave. That seems so worth it. I'm down. I don't know if I can grow a beard personally. I don't know if I have the beard genetics, but I'd try. Listen, hey, look, listen, I'd try. For x-ray, I'd try. I'd but. I would try. Okay, so you can lift, push, or pull objects 10x your weight. Okay, that seems very useful, but you have unremovable hair in your palm. Huh? Palm hair? I would just wear gloves all the time. I think, you know what, hot take, I think I would just constantly be wearing gloves because gloves are sick. But also, this would be very useful in the snow. My hands would stay warm. I'm taking this. This seems so useful. Really? People really devalue bomb hair? We have unlimited riches. More riches than you can imagine. Mansa Musa type riches. But we compulsively spend it on cosplays and anime merchandise instead of stuff you need. That's tough because like, I feel like the full anime, I mean, I guess if you went all in, all in on the anime aesthetic, like would I not, I wouldn't have a place to, I, I just have so many figurines. I'd have Mikasa everywhere. You know, I'd have my, my full air. Aaron Jaeger cosplay. One thing, one cosplay thing I've always thought was really cool, I'm not gonna lie, is I feel like having the full eye contact for like the Renegon, like Sasuke would be really sick. So you know what? I think I could, I could get behind this. I'd have to watch a lot more anime just so that I could feel justified in my purchases, but that's fine. And you know what? I'm down. So 58% of people here are just total weebs, which is good. You know what? That's, that's about what I would expect for a site like this. 58%, that's fair. We're pressing the button and we get mind control for anyone we want, but there is a 24 hour time limit and it can only be done once per each person. Oh, this is like, um, someone, someone tell me, uh, Code Geass. It is just like Code Geass, but except it doesn't have a 24 hour cooldown, but this would be so useful. I mean, like, why wouldn't, I don't get the downside. It's just not, the downside isn't bad. It's just a, it's just a, a, a nerf right you just nerf the ability you don't actually have a downside yeah i mean of course you could start you could you could change the world with this absolutely yeah this is an easy one okay so in this one we will save the human race by pressing the button now we know we're making it a lot better but everyone will think i'm a bad person why not i think it's the greater good type beat you know it's for the greater good for the greater good i'm doing it for the greater good okay there we go this one's a very american one you can you can own any gun you want <laughs> Okay, so you can own any gun you want, and it has a bottomless magazine slash clip. And we all know because of the Sneeko moist critical drama that magazines and clips, two different things. But the zombie apocalypse does happen. I'm good on that. Don't own any guns. You know, maybe one day I'll buy a firearm, but I, I don't think I really need one with the bottomless clip. Why would I start the zombie apocalypse just to have all this? I'm good on that. Press the button, then President Barack Obama dies, but we aren't in debt anymore. Yeah, probably fine. Probably a good thing to, if we reset the national debt. Obama can't be president again. Maybe he, you know, with his presidential ability could advocate for some good things. But I imagine fully eliminating the national debt would be better. Because I don't know if the debt is like too huge of an issue. But yeah, I'm sure. Why not? Fuck it. Rip Obama. R.I.P. Barack, man. It was a real one. Way too real of a one. Uh, you can have sex anywhere, <laughs> anytime, with anyone you desire, but you have AIDS. That's that's probably bad. I don't want to give people HIV. That seems like not a good thing, but I imagine... Yeah, I guess probably not. I think I'm good on this. You know, I think I'm good on having AIDS. Uh, you can have everything you ever want. Money, woman, men, cars, fastest internet in the universe, but you'll have a blocked nose that always runs forever. Oh god, that is the worst thing. That's so bad.
I mean, like, there are people who, like, obviously live and thrive like this, right? So it's not like this is, like, a death sentence or, like, your life would suck permanently. I think I would take it. I think that's a fair trade. Bang. There we go, folks. So we answered some of the button's most challenging questions. I hope you took a lot away from this episode. I know I did. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe on here on YouTube. Check me out on TikTok, Twitch, and Twitter. And as always, have a good night.